In today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about zig routes. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel, what I basically do is I post four videos a day on, on YouTube. I also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And the whole purpose of why I produce so much content and why I post videos is because I'm trying to help people like me get better at this game, help them understand why things work the way they work, why certain things happen. This game is as much art as it is science, but what I hope my channel can do is bring some clarity to that and give you some helpful tips, strategies, and concepts that you can apply to your offense, defense, and full gameplay. So if that's interesting to you, what I wanna ask you to do right now is to click subscribe. All right, guys, uh, we're going to jump in here, and I wanted to specifically talk about this because I was I was having a conversation, and actually it was a coaching session that I was doing. So if you haven't picked up a coaching session yet, um, the coaching sessions are legit. You don't want to miss those, and you can click the, the link in the description to pick one up. So basically what I want to do right now is I want to talk specifically about zig routes and how to basically use zig routes to beat um, – to beat man-to-man -man coverage, so we're gonna we're gonna jump into that here in just a second. Uh, da, 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 let's see here. Okay. So dime normal. Um, actually, let's come out in dollar. Let's do dollar. And let's just put uh, Raven Green in there. That's fine. So we're gonna come out in, in man coverage, and I want to specifically specifically talk about one little thing that you need to know about zig routes before you jump into them. Into them, if you have a receiver that has 90 short route running, it's gonna make them get open better. You see here, Mario Cooper, 96 short route running. So he's gonna get open fairly consistently. I'm gonna put CeeDee Lamb in the slot, the opposite slot, and you'll see he won't get open as much. Now, um, zig routes are foundational this year to me. They do a lot of things for your offense that you probably don't think that they do. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a Mario Cooper in the slot here on the left side. And then I got Michael Gallup over here, and then I'm going to put um, C.D. Lamb here. And then here I could just put um, Blake Jarwin. That's fine. And we're going to be working out of this play curl wheel. And we're going to really just specifically talk about zig routes. So first and foremost, zig routes against man-to-man. -man. Watch Amari Cooper on this play. What you're going to see here. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I didn't put him on a zig route. What you're going to see is if he doesn't get pressed, these are uh, really good. They're, some people call them pivot routes. I call them uh zig routes what you'll see here watch cuts in cuts out and because he's got that 90 plus short route running he's gonna roast the corner now take a look and i want you to watch the tight end on the right and let's get the running back out of there just so i want to in route watch what happens here same route nowhere near the amount of separation nowhere near the amount of separation right the reasoning is because of the route running. Route running this year, the most important statistic for your wide receivers because there's so much man coverage. You see, even when there's shaded coverage over top, you're not going to be able to beat it consistently. One of the things that a lot of people like to do is they like to shade coverage outside and shade coverage over top. I highly recommend doing that as well. And watch what Amari Cooper is going to do to the pivot. He's still going to be able to beat it. And in fact, what I can do as a quarterback is I can get the ball to him by, and, and right there I was not able to do it, but I can get the ball, I can actually pass lead him up into the outside. So literally just up into the outside, click on, and you see it's gonna drop the ball right in the right in that little pocket. Now, you don't have to do that. Um, it's just kind of a fun little way to do it. But what you're gonna see here is, as a general rule, if I pass lead that hard to the outside, Mario Cooper's gonna beat it because of the 90 short route running. And he does have Slotomatic, but if you notice, Slotomatic's not lighting up on zig routes. See how it doesn't light up? That means it's not activating. This is literally all route running. It has nothing to do with abilities. Now, if I put Amari Cooper on an out route, all of a sudden, watch, Slotomatic lights up and he crushes him by even more yardage. So that's just something to be aware of as you're working through your abilities and understanding what your players and what your abilities actually mean for your scheme. Now, one thing I did want to cover really, really quickly. Uh, if you watch Amari Cooper right here, right, if right there, I want to show. I want to talk about this a little bit. This to me is a really, really big deal. Um, the pivot route is very similar to another route, and I want to talk about this just really, really briefly. 
if you watch watch how many times the pivot route is going to make a, a route cut so you have your first route cut when you go then you have your second which is right there and then you're going to have your third when he wraps out so there's three specific route cuts what madden as a video game understands and logic of the video game is that they are going to essentially begin with the end of mind madden knows what play you're running the ai knows what play you're running so if you run a a double move like a comeback route watch what happens on the side one cut two cut three cut four cut and you see how see how the court the computer literally has like like psychic vision and he knows that you're going to come back that's what i mean by ai you can take advantage of that when it comes down to um, running these little pivot routes. And so what you can do is you can throw the ball because the game knows you're going to have three cuts. You can throw it on the second cut, the cut right to the inside. So snap the ball. He cuts the inside. You see there, I can low ball and I can possession catch that every single time. Now, the question is, does that work against shaded coverage over top and shaded coverage, all of the different shades? So we're going to run this against shaded coverage over top. And you see they're going to work really well. You see how the corner, it gets kind of lost. See that? Now, what happens when they press, press coverage, and they shade inside? What happens in that scenario? Well, let me show you. Snap of the ball, shade coverage in. And you see you see there, Sullivan's able to make the adjustment. So that tells me as the uh, offense, this is why labbing is so important. That tells me, and I'm going to try it again to make sure it works, that tells me that if they're going to stop this zig, they're going to have to do that a coverage adjustment right there. And you see it does work. Now, that is a coverage adjustment that they're going to have to make to all of their corners to stop one route. The reason that's significant is if they press coverage and they do exactly what I just said, where they're shading coverage inside, what you're going to find is you can basically run anything you want as an offense. You'll see that when he cuts to the outside, now all of a sudden he's going to have a lot more outside position. As you can see, he's going to be able to cut to the outside and get the outside leverage. They have to shade coverage inside. I, I want to underline that because if they shade coverage, if they just shade coverage down, watch what's going to happen here. You go right in there and you're still able to fit the ball in. You're still able to hit it on the cut, right? They have to shade the man coverage inside to take that away. Now, what happens when he cuts the outside? See how we're just testing that? See how that shade kind of messes up things a little bit when they press? That press animation kind of messes the route up a little bit. The reason that's significant is it tells me, as an, as an offense, it tells me that what they're going to have to do to really deal with this is they're going to have to get up and they're going to have to play press man-to-man -man coverage. As you can see right here, it's consistently taking this away. Now, what I want you to, what I want you to hear me loud and clear on is there's no reason in Madden 21 why if someone runs press man-to-man -man coverage that you should not have an automatic touchdown. So that's where Y cross comes in, and that's also where the play uh, stick comes in. So I'm going to go over both of those um, in this video, these specific routes that are designed to, to beat specific coverages. So I know that, okay, that's what they're going to have to do to stop it. Well, if I take... If I take um, Y cross here, watch what's going to happen. CD Lamb is going to get an instant win on this guy, and I'm going to be able to get the ball out to him for the most part. Right right there, I lobbed it. I probably shouldn't have. And what you're going to find is when they run press coverage, they're going to be all, all kind of vulnerable to other routes. Watch this route on the right side. You're going to see he's going to cut to the inside and get really good separation. That's from Curl Wheel. You're also going to see when they shade when they shade coverage inside, what that's going to then do for your offense. Again, if I run the play uh, Y stick, for example, and it might not work on the right side, but generally it's gonna you're gonna get a nice outside release, and when they do the shading, you're gonna be able to get the ball down. So if they take the safeties away, you now have free releases on both sides of the field. Now, what about? Um, what about if they what if they leave this what if they leave the shade over top? What do you do then? Well, in my opinion, what I would do in that situation, if they're doing some shading like that, where they're shading underneath to stop that specific uh, route, 
you're going to have other things open. This route, um, this little curl wheel route, uh, is going to work pretty good on a low ball. What you're also going to be able to do is when you when they start doing that where they're really pressing up, that's where you want to complement your zig route with just a quick out route. And what you'll see here is Amari Cooper is going to crush that man-to-man -man coverage, and you're going to be able to get the ball out of your hands. So that's a little bit about how zigs work in man. I want to show you now just really quickly how they work in zone, and this is what makes them to me really, really next level. Against zone, you're going to see that you're going to be able to lowball it all day long. Like if against default zone, literally default vert hook, you will literally throw this ball every single time right there. Click on and he's going to shield it. He's going to shield it every single time on this play. It does not matter. As long as they're not shading their hook zones down, he's, he's going to win. Right? So now what I want to show you is what happens when they shade their coverage down. And this is why zig routes are one of the most important routes in your offense. You see there, he's still able to get the separation. Because again, Madden's a video game. And Madden is going to do specific things against specific route combinations. One of the things it's going to do against this route combination we're talking about is it's going to stop that specific thing. Now, what if they shade their hook zones to five yards? Because everybody knows that doing that will help stop hitches. So we're going to show that real quick. Come out, cover two. Cover two is the best my, that I've found. Uh, we'll show you cover three as well, but cover two does the best out of all the zones against this. Watch Amari Cooper. Snap. Uh, shoot. Threw it the wrong guy. Watch Amari Cooper on this play. And again, there's a reason we run it from spread, spacing. Low ball right there. See it? See that? Isn't that interesting? That low ball, because he's inside, because he breaks inside, you don't run into the issue. Like if I try to watch, watch, I'm going to throw the hitch. Pick six every time. I've thrown so many interceptions, pick sixes for touchdowns on that. It's not even funny. You cannot throw a hitch route with five-yard zone drop, but you can throw zig. See that? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Now, to me, what that means for your offense, zig routes are very underrated. They're very underrated because most people are used to throwing zig routes at one point. They're used to throwing zig routes at the when he does that and then he comes out. As you see here, I can still throw that if I want to. It's cover two. I still throw that. That's fine. Watch what this does to the zone and behind it, though. Watch the curl route on the left. I now can throw this with an easy pass lead inside possession. Very, very easy to throw that. I want to talk, uh, I want to show you zero yarded hook curl zones. Because if five yards doesn't, doesn't stop it, you're going to see people start to go to zero. Because again, you can force feed this. You can force feed this route. Come out and spread. Now these are zero yards hooks look see there he see there he gets it see that so they've got to bring their hook curls to zero yards now i do want you to see this watch this he's gonna play it if the core if if the hook zone on the left side comes under your zig route watch what you have look at everything over the middle of the field everything's open Everything is open over the middle of the field, which is then going to allow, and this is where schemes come in. It's then going to allow this right here, four verticals, streaks. But if you can't force them to bring their hook curls down by throwing underneath routes on this year's game, there's no point in even trying to play offense. You see there, and you can actually, I mean, if you get the ball out there, there's a piece of me that feels like I can still fit this in, but... It looks like the defense will lock it up. Now, I do want to talk about one other little thing you can do with the, the hitch routes. The You can run a hitch route in combination with like a smoke route. And one of these two routes will be open on every play. Every play you run, one of these two routes will be open. So if I do something like this, um, one other thing I like, actually, you see a lot of people will run like, these outside hitches are not bad. 
or um, outside zigs this year are actually not too bad. Um, I think they do a pretty good job. So if I did something like this, right there, and of course I throw a pick. I was trying to throw the ball a little bit earlier. But the Ziggs guys, I'm telling you, they're they're really, really underrated. Um, and if you could you can pair it with a slant coming over the middle, like something like this right here, and see how that slant, see how that zig's gonna serve as a pull route for the slant route. You're gonna be it's gonna basically give you a high low. Now I do have my flats backed off pretty significantly here to defend crossing routes. But what this does, I mean, look at the pocket, look at the window you can throw this. Like they run zone, good luck. Good luck running zone against zigs, I'm telling you. And if you if you're able to stop the zig from zone, you're you know you're only going to be able to stop part of it because they're going to have to have a. And this is what I one other thing I do want to leave you with here before we take off. This is kind of a lab video. I want you to let me know if you enjoyed this vi this video as well because I've been thinking about doing more of these for specific routes. But one of the things you're going to see a lot of is you'll see something like this. You'll see um, if you're playing Madden for any time at all, you'll see this kind of like Mabel coverage and we're going to go over this from dollar and we'll just use cover two as well so you'll see this i promise you you're going to see this this defense that i'm about to run so they're going to take both of their slot guys they're going to put them on purple zones watch what happens with uh amari cooper snap the ball throw it see how they fall away and there's a quick quick five quick five quick five quick five very, very easy. Very, very easy. Quick five. Whoop. Right there. Ah. I forgot. I didn't put him on a thing. I did not put him on his... Um, I did not put him on his uh, purple zone. So you'll see here. Snap of the ball. Oh, it's open. Okay, I'll throw it. There's a quick five. Quick five. Quick five. Quick five. Now, what the defense... Or what the, what the computer is going to have to do to stop this... Something like this right here. Something like this right here to take it away. So snap of the ball. You're zigging. Oh, okay, I've got that. And look what you can still throw. You can still throw your curl route. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy how you can really work the ball up and down the field here? If you want to throw a wheel route, you can. But the zigs open things up on another level. Okay, on another level. For example, if I go to cover three, and I may do something like this. Watch what happens. Remember, the zig is a two to three window route. Snap of the ball. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I didn't get the zig off. We'll just hit that curl. That curl is sick, isn't it? Curl wheel. Probably one of the best plays in Madden 21, if not the best play. But they're going to go to cover three. Watch this. Inside, oh, the inside yellow takes it away, but there's nothing on the flat. It has to have an inside yellow zone. It has to have a purple zone. And it has to have a cloud flat zone. It has to have three specific zones to take away the left side of the field. That, my friends, is what we call a solid start, a solid foundation. Because you can throw the zig at multiple points. Because you can throw the zig at multiple points. That's what makes it so powerful. So, what most defenses are going to do is they're going to resort to shading down, shading inside. And I just want you to watch this play as we lock up against that. You see there, if he gets any, um, if he gets separation, it's primarily going to be because of his route running or his ability. So, you have to understand that going into it. Understand what you're running, what you're calling what the vulnerabilities are, which I feel like most people don't do that. But snap, okay, the zig's taken away, so now I'm going to work my way over to the post route, and you see the post route's wide open. This right here, knowing that they have to do this specific defense with usering over the middle of the field, opens up your entire offense. Because then you go to Y cross, looks very similar, but now... He's going to burn the post, or he's going to burn the press coverage. 
That is what we talk about when we say scheming. So let me know what you thought of this video. If you have questions, you can text me. My number is 812-216-3644. This is some of the level of detail, detail that I go into whenever I do coaching sessions with clients. And so if you guys are, would be interested in getting a personal coaching session, I have 30 and 60 minute sessions available. Um, I typically don't, I typically always go longer than 60 sec, uh, minutes just because we get to chatting Madden and, and I just love talking the game and talking football, but I would love to coach you. Um, you can sign up for those in the description of this video. I think personally it would help you a ton, but if you don't want to get a coaching session, consider getting the ebook guys consider getting the ebook this is the kind of detail that i go to putting these schemes together for you guys and i think it really produces a quality product so thank you so much for your time there's some links in the description you can check out you can also join the discord there's some videos that are going to come up on your screen right here that i want you to check out and we've got some more videos coming on our youtube channel and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock eastern time we'll see you there